Hey everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya. My、uh, cable, my headphone cable just broke, so I have to use these thingies, and I can hear my voice extremely loud, which is very unusual. I have to get used to that. I just ordered a new cable, so yeah, should be here sometime this week. So let's go on with the game. I mean, yeah, it's not that shit hasn't been breaking lately, right? You want to know the news on the boiler? Well, the before I go on, the、uh, the spare part came.、Um, the the people we'd call they they came on Friday, of course. They replaced the part, and guess what? The boiler didn't work. So they figured out, oh, something else is broken. Oh, and that part might be broken. And hey, how about getting a new boiler? So not only did we waste a whole lot of money on that damn spare part, we have to buy a new boiler, which is gonna cost a fucking fortune. But hey, don't we all poop money nowadays, eh? If that thing had broken two or three years earlier, it would have been a whole lot cheaper. Well, I mean, not that much, but you know, and ah,、uh, I'm just so pissed off with everything. <sighs> Well, great. Now that we got that out the way, we can go on with the game without me complaining more. But it's so it's so weird hearing my voice so loudly because I'm so used to the, the overhead. I've, I've, or I've gotten so used to the overhead, overhead, over ear headphones. Um. And what did I want to do? Yeah, I wanted to. Let me see. Cause I have, I have no clue where to go on. Um, let me get back to the、uh, beginning. Cause I'm still looking. I'm still looking for the 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 password and that thingy by the pool. And then I had I noted down something that I can't read my own handwriting, but I wanted to check this thingy out again. Wait, I was distracted. The Emmett family have been missing since. The, okay, no, that was um. But here it says, when my brother went away. And what is? Is that Q three o six? Well, could that be the password? Although, what, what is Q three o six supposed to mean? Ooh. A powerful week for relationships with the position of your love planet Uranus. That small planet of Mercury is bringing you glamour and personal vitality. What I also remember. Sorry, love. But what I also remembered in the last the game, in the first game, we had clues from advertisements. So. I haven't really listened to the radio for years, but maybe there's advertisements too that will give us. An exciting time awaits you at Starpoint Indo. Now open 24/7. Starpoint Indo is the number one online retailer for gaming and accessories. I don't understand the word Indo. You'll never lose. Never mind. Wait. Let's let me get out.、Uh, see, the thing is. Because my、uh, the cord is very short, I found my old extension cord that I have talked about in a previous episode, where I have the little volume control, and even with the volume turned up all the way, it is a way it is way lower than usual, which is a blessing for my ears. But I think for understanding this properly, it's a little too low. Cool. 
indulge yourself with a lucky dish of iron or try out an edible pick and mix gemstones. Be charged, I can't hear be vitalized or magical gems with an invigorating dip in our store. Sponsored by Beauty Balance. This and the thing is, you know, nowadays you buy that thing and it costs maybe 8 or 9 or 10 special. euros and it's still the same china crap. Same with these cables. Hey, Bob, I hate so paying so much for these bigger. cables and it's the last one I bought, it didn't even last me health boosters. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. Not at all. They come in these neat little squirters. So you can add them to anything? Sure thing. Add a few drops to water, coffee, soup, beer, even tea. It's perked you up no end. After your hair fell out. Yeah, it saved my life. <laughs> if my cat is hooked on Purine Balance. New Purine Balance Handy Health Boosters. Available now. Purine what? Balance? At any rate, the men are not supported. A bouquet of the Bring a touch of nature into your home. Celebrate the harvest festival. All our bouquets and arrangements feature locally grown flowers and plants. Oh, never mind. I can't understand the damn word. It's your chance to join. So, uh, I propose we uh, we try the Q306 on the laptop. I need at least one or two episodes. Because uh, when the cable comes on Wednesday. Yeah, never mind. Uh, wait, how do I get here? There. So, Q three O six. Wow. How the fuck would you have come up with Q three O six unless you were intended to look there because, uh, it was September 23rd, 2006, and uh, where did they get the Q and the 3 from? Q3. The 06, okay, but the Q3, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, never mind. Um, cur uh, what? Correct coursework film studies. Notes. Pick an interesting subject. Find an unusual or interesting angle on a local subject or environmental issue. Storyboard. Short film. Film your project. Edit, master, and publish your film. Present your film to the class. Can we... Capture clips? No, wait, what? Capture from device. shining a flashlights on the candles and, and on that book the whole time. And those um, thingies, flyers. <laughs> oh, it's just, where's my headphone? Okay, look. Come closer. Gus, here. 
This is the book Elsie lent me. The Dark Path. What's it about? It looks second hand, you emo. Shh! It's the old Cornish religion. You know, pagan stuff. Here! That's weird. What's happened to the book? Hey, Mia! What's wrong with your arms? What is that? What is it? I can't get it off! That symbol. You're obsessed with it. There's a fox barking in the background, isn't it? Don't just, don't care. I was gonna say, don't throw burning shit on the floor. That that was all here, okay. Um how do I God damn it Make move do we have to put this in some kind of never mind. Um emails which is the first one? I don't know. Well, who cares? From White Wicker 1952 to Mia Kendall. Subject Babin sees, Babin knows. Babin was real. She lived thousands of years ago. Near the hills. No, near the hill of barrows here in Cornwall. She dwelt in the green places where death had provided uh, fertile soil rich with the remains of ancient man. Babin is the Divine Feminine, crone, maiden, and mother. Her powers are absolute, commanding all of nature. Her spirit is pure, uncorrupted. She bows to no man. The old barrow lands are her world, an endless cycle of death and regrowth. Babin understands the cycle, birth, life, death. All returns to the earth. All life decays, dies, and returns to the soil. Babin knew this better than anyone. Seek the knowledge you crave. Babin sees, Babin knows. From M. Harry B.H.R. to Mia Kendall. Subject urgent from Emma. Don't go out. Promise me that you won't do anything tonight. You want to know what happened to, me, to your brother. I know we all do, but... Barrow Hill is not what we think. There's something wrong with this place. It's like when your brother disappeared ten years ago. We don't own the natural world. We simply live within it. Normally it feels fine in a creepy way, but not tonight. The equinox is like we are it's like we are being punished. Please listen to me. I'm not your babysitter anymore. Oh, but I still worry. Stay indoors, Emma XX. So she was her babysitter, okay? Oh boy. There's the. Ugh. Ugh. Creepy. So is this supposed to be Babin then? <clears throat> From. 
from Mia Kendall to everyone, subject just in case. Hoping to delete this before anyone reads it, but just in case, eh? If anything happens to me, Ollie or Gus tonight, I want people to know what happened. It's all been my idea. I want to know what happened to my brother, Ben. Where is he? Why won't he... Why won't the police reopen the case? What's going on in this place? I have to know, and this seems like the only way. Magic. Old magic. Magic about this place, made by this place. It will provide answers. It has to. Gus has filmed everything. He thinks I don't know. Find his SIM cards. They will tell you everything. Mia. Okay. Uh, what's in the trash? Gonna be... I... Oh, late. Still got leaflets to deliver. Oh, wait. From Gus Bevan to Mia Kendall. Gonna be late. Still got leaf leaflets to deliver. Gonna be late. What do you expect to happen tonight anyway? I don't like the new place. Creepy old tomb. It gives me the creeps. Why do we have to hang out there? Met with Ollie tonight. He said something about your brother. Mia, he's not coming back. Just cause it's a special night and all that pagan stuff. None of it's real. You've got to let him go, Gus. P.S. Ollie has got a crush on you. Ha ha. From Ollie Tindall to Mia Kendall, subject meeting tonight. Hi Mia, looking forward to tonight. Never done anything like this before. What do you expect to happen? You seem to lose yourself when you do the trans stuff. The coit is one thing, but the old farmhouse really gives me the creeps. Do you really expect to see your brother tonight? A summoning spell, you said. Hope you know what you're doing, Ollie. Well, I guess she didn't summon her brother, huh? But something evil. But from all we're reading about the farm, I, I'm really hoping we get to go there at some point in the game. Oh. Uh, oh, that's the... Okay, from White Wake on 1952 to Mia Kendall, subject Ben Kendall. Your brother suffered for the actions of others, the thieves, desecrators, and grave robbers. They call themselves archaeologists. I call them heathen liars, justifying their greedy purpose with talk of science and education. It's all about money. It always has been. They are the enemy. A woman, the worst of the thieves, came to Barrow Hill in 1965. She sought the ancient treasures, the personal and precious items placed in the barrows over 4,000 years ago. She had no right. The spirits are angry. Babin will not rest until her treasures are returned. White Wicca, there you go. So it was good I wrote it down. Uh, we, now we just have to find it. <laughs> From White Wicca 1952 to Mia Kandel, subject the dark path. Follow the book to the letter. Do not deviate from the dark path. My mother strayed. She did not believe. She was punished. Taken from me and thrown to the wolves. Torn to shreds by tooth and claw. We will not make such mistakes. Believe and you shall receive a mentor. From White Wicca 19... Who the fuck is this White Wicca 1952? To Mia Kandel, subject, the equinox approaches. I have consulted the lunar charge, charts. The wise one has shown the way. The equinox will occur, occur on the 22nd at 13 minute, minutes past 7 p.m. If you have followed the dark path to the letter, you will see your brother again. The spirits that dwell within the wood will help you. Do not tell your friends they do not believe as we do, a friend. Huh. Recently visited. Okay, fabulous. 15.3 BHR. Welcome to the Barrow Hill Radio website. This is DJ Emma Harry broadcasting from the reedy swamps of Lower Barrow Hill. I'm here to keep you company until the break of day. 
with a mix of chat, phonins, smooth tunes, and news. Tonight is the autumn equinox, which means anything can happen. Out here in the wilds of Cornwall, stay safe, stay tuned. New, be sure to check out the spooky area. Games, Strange Mystery of the Haunted Winnebago CE. This brand new hidden object game was created by me, Emma Harry. I love a good old hog now and then, so thought I'd invite you into my spooky world. This game is the first in a series of hog pack Cornish adventures. Coming soon, Swamp Horror, Alien Hive, Beast of Barrow Moor, and Dolly Orphanage. About. Emma Harry has returned to find the radio station haunted by hidden objects. Find them all to break the curse. Oh, we can actually bling, 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 play that. Bling, bling. Can we re play it? Or is I should be on air at the radio station. Something is stopping me. A curse? Find all the objects to break the curse. Oh, this is cool. Beautiful. Uh, wait, what? Plain crown food cookies. I love the sound. Oh, it goes on. Okay, button, uh, hammer, lizard screw breakfast. Lizard. Uh, oh, there's the hammer. Doll screw. There's the burger. Where's the oh, ray? Where's the doll? Dude, where's the doll? I can't see it. Oh, come on! I can't just click everywhere. <laughs> but there is no doll! Wait, is there a doll somewhere? Why can't I see a doll? Let's try again. <laughs> bling, 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 bling. Okay. Oh, it's all the same now, but there is still no dolls. Doll nor doll, blah, blah. No doll to be seen. Plain crown, boots, cookies, button, screw, breakfast. Great lizard burger. No dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I found the doll. <laughs> You are both the last there. Ew, well done. It's showtime. Oh. Okay. Now what? Now it gets stuck there. Oh, never mind. But at least I found the damn doll. Now I can go on. <laughs> Spooky. 
Autumn Equinox Special Live, <clears throat> Post 1, 1615. It's starting to get dark outside. Dusk, the Autumn Equinox, 2016. It's been 10 years since that terrible night here at Barrow Hill. My feelings are mixed. I'm sad for all those that lost their lives that night. It was a senseless, terrible tragedy. But I am also very angry. The inquest, when it actually happened, was a shambles, a whitewash. An industrial accident? We must stick together, seek the truth inside the lies. Um, next. Oh, okay, Mr. Organic Member. Evening, Emma. Hello, all. Has it really been ten years? It seems like yesterday. Such terrible times. Everyone has a pet theory about that night, from the scary to the downright silly. I heard some kids talking at the bus stop, talking about sacrifice, witchcraft, and magic. Local kids, too. I worry about my stock. The herd gets spooked easy enough already. If there's weirdos in the woods, we'll soon know, how, uh, we'll soon know about it. I don't believe in all this pagan stuff. It's daft, but there's always been something odd about Barrow Woods. Hi, Matt. Yeah, I've heard and seen some strange stuff around the village. The Dark Path. What the hell is it? A cult? Anyone got any info? If so, get calling. You might make it on air. I've seen some flyers around Widgewood Hollow near the pub. I took a, I took a couple of photos on my phone. Sorry about the quality. Oh, we can't. Okay. Elsie Prestige, remember White Witch, oh wait, El we had her in the first game as well, what if she's the, the, what was the name, Wicca 52? The time approaches, the, the hour is near, the ancient spirits, those that dwell within the hill, they are ready to hear your troubles, they want to help you realize your wish, they are not to be feared, others have already taken the path. Um, yeah, thanks, Elsie. That's a big help. So, you're a white wicca, eh? What does that actually mean? To my other listeners, let's hear your equinox stories. What happened to you that night? Anything weird, wonderful, or just freaky? Let me know. Also, to my friend Mia, I'm thinking about you. I know this night of the year is very hard for you. You lost your brother, poor Ben, never to be seen again. It's hard not having answers. It's hard not knowing the truth. But please, stay indoors tonight. The same goes for everyone else. Stay indoors. Lock the doors. Seriously? That was my timer? Well, let's, let's at least finish reading this. It turns out, after a bit of web snooping, that The Dark Path was a book. It looks like it was devoted to the mystical, magical, and esoteric in Cornwall. Written by James Tregowan back in the 1960s. It's out, it's out there. Hippies, it's out there hippie stuff there. But it might hold some clues as to why Barrow Hill and the area are the focus of strange forces. It's got to be worth a look. There's a copy doing the rounds on e-bidding if anyone is interested. Oh boy, the dark path, unknown Barrow Moor. We are the dark path. We continue the work of the James Tregowan. By following the dark path, we will find answers. Join us. Who are the dark path? Is that you, Mia? I hope you're not out tonight. You promised me. The girl seeks answers from a past that can't lie. The boy seeks to catch the girl's eye. The other is sad, his heart filled with pain, by dress dressing the cairns she should live again. Local Bobby Police Witchwood. Evening all. We have been monitoring the forum posts as well as making regular patrols past the old Barrow Hill service station. There is no sign of any devil worship, Satanism, witchcraft, or any other such nonsense. The incident ten years ago was tragic. The old petrol pumps were to blame. What? Like how? Oh god, I think I have to sneeze. There's tickling in my nose. No, no great, now it's running. 
Any strange visions or sightings were the result of hallucinations from the f form, from the fumes. A tragic accident, nothing more. Well, hallucinations don't cause people to disappear. Robert, you speak of things you can never understand. You were not even born when I had my first experience. It was 1965, the winter solstice, the opening of the Bracken Tor. It changed my life forever. If those who are born in the area of Barrow Hill wish to seek their purpose, to seek answers, can that be so bad? If the youngsters following the dark path wish to make wishes, how can the law stop them? Oh, hell, now I'm worried. Elsie, are you trying to say that the dark path is local kids? If so, do you know if my friend Mia is one of them? I'm really worried. She's never been okay about the equinox, and this is, and this is the anniversary of her brother's death. You should not have encouraged her. So, please, tell me where she is. Mia, if you're out there, go home. Please stay away from the service station. Okay, that was it. Hmm. Contact. Get the uh, got something to say? Emma Harry at barrowhillradio.com. Join a growing community of believers, funked out freaks, neo druids, Wiccans, pagans, and me, Emma Harry. Together we can solve any mystery. Advertisement. Freaky time soon available. Worldwide. Curled, worldwide. Current issue. Organite pyramids. How to use them. The dark path and much more. Oh, I'm really hoping there's going to be some more games at some point with Amari about everyone solving mysteries. That would be cool. Swamp. The Swamp. Barrow Hill Radio broadcasts from the watery reed beds beneath the hill. The radio station itself operates from a beaten up old Winnebago, which has served me for many years. The area is not without interest, too. As well as wildlife, like birds and stuff, there's also a lot of spooky ruins. There was an old chapel here, which has begun to disappear beneath the sands. Some say that the old priests who worshipped there were pagan sympathizers, who continued the old ways long after such practices were outlawed by the church. I reckon there's a mystery to be solved out there. Dark Path, Seeking Answers from the Land, Missing, Barrel Mystery, New Site Picks 2016, okay, God, Conspiracy Members Only, White Wake that knows what happened, this is loud, there was a disturbance in the fairy magic that protests, protects the dead, uh, great, now I can't get out of here because I'm gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna end this episode here, find the missing. This is a list of the victims from the 2006 event. Some of the names have been withheld from the public, part of a wider conspiracy to a cover up what really happened on that terrible night. The police have never provided anything in the way of an explanation, beyond stating that vanishings were part of some industrial accident. Uh... Okay, wait then, uh, okay, oh god, it's so much to read now, Trevor, Mark, Sarah, and Barry, and I hope you can hear me over the music, they tried to stop the dig, they knew it was wrong, yet, or, well, music, the sounds, yet, they also disappeared that night, a photo has surfaced from 2006, that reveals the four activists were in the woods surrounding the hill when they disappeared, there are placards still standing, like makeshift grave markers. There are personal items in creepy little mounds. Mm -hmm. Classified. We saw all that in the last game. No, oh, Wincy. Emma Harry witnessed what happened to Wincy, her beloved doggy. 
Emma is a true, honest witness to the lethal power that stalked the landscape back in 2006. <coughs> she described Wincy being vaporized by a stone. It moved and fried Wincy as she tried desperately to save her friend. Oh, look. Ben Kendall. Ben was working at the service station after swapping his normal shift with Maggie. He made a desperate phone call, his very last, to his parents. Unfortunately, Mia, aged age 8, answered the phone. By the time she passed the phone to her parents, Ben was already gone, never to be seen again. The Emmett Family The biggest cover-up of all. The Emmett family from Luton were having, were hoping for a sunny super holiday on the Cornish coast. Instead of Sam, Sun and Scampy, they got killed. A tiny clip of the event leaked immediately after, revealing Mr. Emmett being attacked by something, something indescribable. It looks like a big gummy bear, the stone. Conrad Morse. An aging archaeologist employed to excavate the ancient stone circle of Barrow Hill. Many, including the Dark Path, believe Conrad is to blame for the tragedy that for the tragedy that struck the night of the solstice. Did he disturb some ancient power? Is the hill cursed? Okay, no wait. I'm gonna get out of here because I need to end the episode. This is getting way too long. Um there. Yeah. Ah, despite the sound being so much lower, it feels good now that there's no creepy noises anymore. And I really hope you guys can hear me, hear my voice ab above over it. Because it sounds very, very loud though, very distorted somehow. But that might just be the speaker quality. So yeah, never mind. We are going somewhere here, finally. Or at least something to do. Not me running around cluelessly. So we're gonna go on checking out the laptop in the next episode and then we'll have a look at the sim cards to see what we got there. Uh yeah, you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having fun. I certainly did again. Have a great day or a great night and see you in the next episode. Bye!